previously on the Maltese Falcon. Good morning. Well, that was a crazy night. Two dudes came down and joined me down at the bench, so as soon as I saw them, I booked it. It was dark. Well, as it turns out, it was a good idea. I booked it out of this riverbank last night. When the tide comes in, the path gets flooded and you can't get out. We were over there on that berm when we got startled. So, all's well that ends well. Then his German Shepherd came in, started growling and barking at me, and I told him to heal his dog, and he did. Okay, guys, we're in present day now, and we're back down uh, along the Nicomechel River. Uh, this was a challenge, the bridge challenge that we did back in March. Go check that out. Uh, and we got startled down here by a couple of big dudes along the river, so we booked it out and just hung along the freeway behind me. Anyway, we're going to finish that video off today and get her done. We want to set up a camp along the beautiful Nicomechel River, and that's what we're going to do. So here we go. There's the bridge over Highway 99 that we have to take to get into this river down here. down into the river valley here. I left my ruck back at the vehicle so that we can just do a nice long hike in right now, early in the day, so the lighting's good. Get some good shots, find a spot to camp, and then come back later and set up camp. So it's early November, beautiful fall, colors across the valley and this is uh, the perfect place to stealth camp in this area however you don't want company and uh, it's secluded we're going down a fairly long trail to get up into the good camping sites so we'll uh, just see if we can't find a good spot. I'm not going to be deterred. And I've been thinking about this one since March. Uh, didn't like that uh, what happened the last time. Lots of construction going on in this area. 99, the main artery going from Vancouver down to uh, the States. Blaine, Washington is the first U.S. town. We're about five clicks up the road from Blaine, Washington. We're down in a marsh, and when the tide comes in, it can uh, fill this area in. That's what happened the last time, so. We're gonna give it another shot. It's dry so far, this is where it comes over. Hopefully we don't get that situation, and there's the bluff that we're gonna go camp on. Here's the scene of the crime where I had to book it out of here last time when those visitors came down. I thought it was the perfect spot right in front of this bench, but seemingly not. I'm going further down in where there's less chance to be joined or interrupted. Beautiful Nicomechel. It's a perfect nature sanctuary right in the middle of South Surrey. Perfect play for urban stealth camping. You do have some activity up on the ridge there. That's the uh, townhomes along the Nickelmeckel River. There's two candidates for a hammock hang, but uh, it might be too get too boggy over there. I'm not sure. We'll have to just keep those guys in mind. Okay, and here's the actual end of the trail. So we're going to work our way back and find something. Probably crawl right in there. Let's just go see. Right at the end of the trail. Oh, 
Oh, this is perfect. Oh, yeah. This is going to work. For sure. Right in here. Nice and flat. Oh, it's a perfect camp. It's a cross there. Somebody buried their animal. Okay, this is it. We found it. It's perfect. Uh, there are some houses right up there. But we've got good cover down here. Okay, so this is it. This is a godsend. Okay, we found it, guys. Right at the end of the trail. This is perfect. We've got a base. We've got a big tree for cover here. There's some houses up there. And there's the path, but it's the end of the path, so we'll just lay low until the dog walkers end, and then we can put some lights on probably down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my stuff. Glad we found it, and uh, I'm not sure what that cross is, but I'm not gonna let it bother me. It's in a public park here, so we'll uh, go get our stuff and then set up camp. Hope you're enjoying this and please subscribe if you like these kind of movies. We're on a subscription drive and we'd like to get some more subs. And thank you for all our subs that have subscribed. Greatly appreciated. So you're gonna be our neighbors for tonight. Don't worry, I'm gonna be super quiet neighbors. This is about five clicks down that way. And Vancouver's about 45 clicks that way. North. And right down there, above the highway, is where we ended up uh, hanging our hammock when we got uh, chased out of there. I'm gonna grab some dinner for tonight. It's starting to get dark. It's only 5.30. It's crazy. Excuse me. Um, do you have any more of that blood that you had? That blood? Yeah. yeah. Can I have one? No, I want to go back in the cage. Let me get food. Thank you. Well, I just want the one. Okay, it's dark. We're gonna be back at the camp in dark. Hopefully there won't be too many dog walkers left, so we'll see. We'll see you when we get over there. A branch from a tree on Earth and then the surface of the moon in the background. You can see the craters on the left side. Earth to moon. There's our hole. To get into our fort, there's my tooth that I dropped earlier today. I'm just glad it's still here. Grab that on the way in. I'm gonna get in first. Get into this shirt. Start relaxing. There's our cross that we're sleeping beside. 
Peggy. Okay, Peggy. Two years old. I got my, it's about 40 pounds with my uh, one Tigris chair on the outside. So there's my gear. And then I just carried a dry sack in with some additional stuff, lighting, etc. Camera, camera stuff. So I'm gonna get this chair out and I'm gonna have a step two even before I get camp set up. Okay guys, we're in the camp area here now. And uh, we're gonna make some dinner. I'm just gonna chill for a bit here and relax and enjoy the solitude. Uh, we're thinking about two things tonight, human interaction, which hopefully there won't be any. Uh, I'm tucked in pretty good over here. And secondly, we've gotta keep an eye on that tide waters. I checked the tide, it doesn't look like it's gonna be uh, coming up too crazy, so we should be fine and far enough away, I think from the river's edge so anyway we'll get back to you guys when we want to get some dinner here started having some quesadillas chicken quesadillas okay so I was just I just got busted some dog walk with a flashlight just barged right in so anyway I guess I'm not as stealthy as I used to be I just told him I was making a YouTube he started asking about what I said about camping and then his German Shepherd came in, started growling and barking at me, and I told him to heal his dog, and he did. So, okay, this is getting interesting. I wish I had the camera on during that, but I'm gonna just uh, get all set up here again. I, I've got this light on. Hopefully that's the only brave soul that's walking down that path in the middle of the night. Well, it's not even the middle of the night, that's just it. It's only, like I say, it's uh, quarter, quarter after seven. He had a flashlight too. It's pitch black out here. I can't imagine going on a dog walk like that, but so here we go. Yeah, the fun has begun. that gel fluid. Lit. We're gonna have some quesadillas. Pan on top of the prepper oven, whatever you call those things. It's a survival, survival oven. And uh, got some chicken and cheese that the director sent with me. Got those corn tortillas. Some oil for the pan and uh, some green chilies. A little oil in the pan. Let that heat up. Don't want to lose the lid to the gel, so uh, I'm going to put that right over here where I know it is. It's going to take a while for this thing to get hot, so. Okay, one tortilla down. That's the guy that I want to get cooking. Now we're going to go with some of this chicken and cheese the director prepared for us. She's not feeling well tonight, so God bless her for helping us out. 
I'm going to make a couple of these. I'll show you guys just this first one. The director would have killed me. I forgot the green chilies. There we go. That's going to be good. Here, we'll get that going, and then we got to flip it. i got to use my boker to flip it. Hopefully that works. Okay, I want to show you guys. It's, uh, it's hard to do with the lighting, but the cheese is melted. It's golden on both sides, so it's uh, crush time. Okay, this is going to be a challenge. I got to hold the light with one hand and the quesadilla with the other. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Hot, but good. And it is getting cold out here. Probably, I'm going to say eight degrees, nine degrees. I'll check. Let you guys know. Anyway, I'm going to chow down and we'll get back to you. A little colder than I thought it was going to be. So two degrees Celsius feels like two degrees. So I am going to have another beverage here to wash down that beautiful quesadilla. And was it ever delicious? Element Cider Organic Dry Apple, Silkeman Valley, British Columbia. So thank you, Silkeman Valley, for this beautiful beverage I'm about to consume. It's like dessert, it's apple. You get a piece of apple pie for dessert. Nice. Okay, a couple nights ago it was Halloween and uh, we made a video called the Monster Mash Smash Burger. Go check it out if you like uh, Smash Burgers. And we had some uh, leftover blood. So that's what I'm gonna drink tonight. Okay, cheers, this is to all our subscribers new, old, guys that have been with us for a while. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, this is uh, to you guys. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail at the same time. Thank you so much. If you can't have a fire, you might as well look at Ozzy burn the stage down. So, once again, it's basically the falcon against the cold, which uh, we've been down this street before, so it's no biggie. Glad to be out winter camping finally again. Uh, too many bugs in the summertime. So I'm going to hit the sack here, guys. There's not much else to report unless something else happens, but it's pretty chill. I'm just listening to some tunes and doing a little uh, YouTube. And I just uh, commented on Steve the Transit Camper, Fat Man or Batman question. So. Check out Steve the Transit Camper, the guy's hilarious. Good night. Good morning, guys. Uh, didn't sleep that great. I never do on the ground like this. Sort of a 10 minute sleep and then wake up and go back to sleep for 10 minutes. But anyway, I'm starting to hear dogs bark in the distance. And since we're right along this path here, I gotta get packed up at least. So, it's an early start. Uh, it's the way it's gonna be uh, in this type of situation for sure. Cause I don't wanna get busted. So, uh, I'm gonna try and get out of bed here. I may be here for another 10 minutes or so, but then break camp and get it all packed back into the ruck. And, 
maybe haul the ruck out and just see what's going to happen. I can see a breakfast at McDonald's in my not too distant future here. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, this was us last night, guys. I used that chair as a side table. And then uh, I just used my air mattress as a pillow. I didn't even get that one out. It was pretty comfy. Got our downfield quilt, bivy bag, sleeping bag. So, four part system tarp, quilt, bivy bag, and sleeping bag. Pretty comfy, pretty cozy. So, we're going to get all this stuff packed away and make our next move. Leave no trace. We're out of here. Okay, 5.16 a.m. and we're over at Mickey D's. So we'll grab a nice breakfast here. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing at Mickey D's. We'll grab a breakfast. Sustenance anyway. Kind of. Okay, guys, I'm gonna eat my breakfast here and enjoy this uh, lovely egg McMuffin with bacon and egg added. So, thanks very much for watching. That was super fun to make. And if you like these kind of uh, videos, please consider subscribing. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so please subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like it if you'd like to see more hit the notification bell and choose all so thank you very much again for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one Maltese Falcon out